Hebrews are coming, coming, coming. Hebrews are coming, yeah. yeah. Hebrews are coming, coming, coming. Hebrews are coming, yeah. Hundred thousand, forty-four thousand. Hundred thousand, forty-four thousand. Hundred thousand, forty-four thousand. Hundred thousand, forty-four thousand. Hebrews are coming, coming. Hebrews are coming, yeah. Hebrews are coming, coming, coming. Hebrews are coming, yeah. Hundred thousand, forty-four thousand. Hundred thousand, forty-four thousand. Hundred thousand, forty-four thousand. Hundred thousand, forty-four thousand. We ain't playing, yeah. Standing on these corners, yeah. We taking games, yeah. Put them in the Bible, yeah. Ezekiel 37, great and seated on me, yeah. Come see what we about. We'll change it out. We moving out. You my battle life. And what was the war? What you waiting here for? Come see what the hell you're facing. With D, he'll break the nation. Sounds like a little revelation. Divided to the nation. Every nation is supposed to be equal. When the most high divided to the nation. Uh, uh, what's his name that was up here earlier? Jeff? Jeff said that we are the same. When the Most High divided to the nation. So according to the Bible, the Most High God divided all the nations. It was never meant for our people to be mingled with these other uh, nations and these damn heathens. Right? The Lord said he divided the nations. Right? We know. Their inheritance. Yeah, what? Their inheritance. Right? We separated. We did what? We be separated. I thought uh, Jesus was going to bring everybody together. We be separated. I thought Christ was coming to bring everybody together. We be separated. So according to the Bible, the Lord separated the nations. We we be separated. The sons of Adam. He set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. Of the who? Of the children of Israel. What are so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans? Of the children of Israel. For the Lord's portion. For the what? For the Lord's portion. For the Lord said for his portion. Out of all the nations that was divided, the Lord said that his portion is who? For the Lord's portion is his people. It's his what? It's his people. It's our people. It's his people. The Lord said his portion is his people, not our people. The so-called white man is not the Lord's portion, right? The so-called Japanese is not the Lord's portion, right? The Lord's portion is his people. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, which are the Israelites according to the Bible. Read. Jacob is the Lord of his inheritance. Who? Jacob is the lot of his inheritance. The Lord said Jacob is the lot of his inheritance. So the Lord is not dealing with every nation. The Lord said he chose the children of Israel, the descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Oh! Right? So do what you got. And uh, where you at? Deuteronomy 7 and uh, 6. Let me get 1 Kings 8 and 47. Let me get 1 Kings 8 47. Read that. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art in holy people. What the Lord say? For thou art in holy people. For the word holy in the Hebrew is kodash, which means set apart. The Lord said one nation of people in the Bible is set apart from every other nation. Right? But for some reason, our people have a misconception that everybody's the same. Right? You have to ask yourself this question. Where are you learning these things from? Who taught you that we was all the same? Everybody can't do the same things. Up, Every nation doesn't have the same abilities as our people. Up, why can't the Asians, why can't the so-called Asians do the same things? Why can't the Asians do the same things that LeBron James do? Right? Have you ever seen a Chinese man do the same thing as LeBron James? Have you ever seen an a do the same thing as, as Adrian Peterson? Right? Have you ever seen a so-called East Indian had the same ability as Barry Sanders? Right, Magic Johnson. No. Right. So the Lord said we are a holy people. And y'all got a minute for the words of God family? Y'all believe in the Bible? They don't, they don't love God. Alright. Alright. Y'all God chosen people, y'all gotta repent, keep the commandments. Right? So we know. For they are in holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God has chosen thee. Oh, God chose everybody. And chosen thee. God chose the whole world. And chosen thee. God chose the so-called white man. And chosen thee. God chose the Abraham. And chosen thee. Oh, God chose that redneck skinhead. And chosen thee. The Lord said he have chosen thee. To be 
special people. The Lord chose us to be a special people, so we have to separate from the so-called white people. That's right. If you're a so-called black, Hispanic, or Native American, you have to separate from the so-called white woman yeah. and stop being a damn cool, cool. and a damn bad witch. Right? Cool. Sister, separate cool. from your damn enemy. Right? You're better than that, sister. The real said he chose you to be a special people. He didn't choose that white girl that you're walking with. He didn't choose her. Right. Her lot is death, destruction, slavery, and captivity. Bring it out. Read that. Chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Right. Above what? Right. Above. We are equal. Above. But that sister wouldn't be equal with that white girl. Above. Who is said we are above? We above all people. Above what? Above all people. We are the same. Above all. Said the Israelites, which are the so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, are above our people, especially this poor faced white boy. Right? The Lord said, We are above you, we're better than you. We got melanin, and you don't. You get sunburn, you get skin, uh, skin cancer. Right? So you can overdose on fentanyl and drop dead tonight. Right? Right, read them. Above all people. The Lord said, We above all people, man. Right? We are. That are upon the face of the earth. Lord said we are above our people that are upon the face of the earth, man. Right. right? So the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are above all the nations on the face of the earth. That's right. Right? right? So where had you at? First Kings 847? Alright, uh yeah, hold that. Right. Now you good. Let me get um where had you at? All right, let me get Genesis chapter 25, verse 21. Let me get Genesis 25, 21, right? This is me right here? All right, come. Come, it's all good. All right, so bring that out, what you got, King? Book of 1 Kings chapter 8, verse 47. Yet if they bethink themselves, if they do what? Yet, yet, if, they shall be thinking so. For the Lord said in these last days, his chosen people has to be think themselves. What does it mean to be think? Be think means to remember. Right? So it's time for you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans to remember that we are God's chosen people. To remember that we are the descendants of, uh, of King David, of King Solomon, and the Maccabees, Joshua, Jeremiah, Ezekiel. Right? It's time for all people to remember that we are kings and priests upon the face of the earth and not just niggas and thugs and gangsters. Right? The Lord created us to be kings and priests, to be rulers, not to be in the hood selling drugs to each other, shooting each other down in the streets, gay begging on each other. Right? Read. Yeah, if they shall bethink themselves. Hey, y'all beautiful sisters got a minute for the words of God? Y'all love you ladies got a minute for the words of God? Nope. Uh, well, Y'all gotta repent and put on matters of prayer. Y'all Israelites, repent, keep the commandments. You know. Yeah, if there's... Oh, hey, drop dead, you damn devil. <laughs> you ain't got nothing back there anyway. You shit like a damn iron bull. <laughs> yeah, if they shall be think themselves in the land where they were carried captive. Wait, what is America? Land that they were carried captive. You so-called black Hispanics and Native Americans have to remember that you were brought here to be a slave. You wasn't brought here to come here and, and party and turn up. You wasn't brought here to come out here and act the damn fool. You were brought here to be a slave. You were brought here to work in the fields, right? You were brought here against your will. You were kidnapped. You were forced to work in the slave fields. You was getting your backs whipped. You was getting your, your daughters and your sons taken away from you. You was getting your wives raped right in front of your faces. Right? So now it's time for our people to remember the things that happened to our nation. Right, Rudolph? And repent. And do what? And repent. And do what? And repent. The Lord said, now it's time for our people to repent. We have to repent from this madness. Right? Like I said, ain't nothing out here for our people but death and destruction. Read. And make supplication unto thee in the land of them that carried them captives. That did what? In the land of them that carried them captives. What the so-called white man do? 
in the lead of them that carried them captives. So these are the people that carried us captives, right? These people that bring you over here to be equal with you. Why the hell do you believe anything that come out the so-called white man mouth? You believe the same man that brought you in slavery and now he's talking about we are equal, right? How is the same man that put you in slavery gonna be equal to you, right? You gotta make that make sense. Stop letting this man deceive you. Stop letting this man take advantage of you, right? It's time for our people to wake up and stop being fooled by, the, by these damn devils, right? We do Sin, we have sinned. We have did what? We have sinned and have done perversely. We have did what? And have done perversely. We have committed wickedness. We have did what? We have committed wickedness. Our people continue to commit wickedness and break the laws, statutes, and commandments of the Most High God, man. Right? Right? So if you are so called black, Hispanic, and Native American woman, and you selling your body on OnlyFans, you are committing wickedness, right? If you are here prostituting your body, you are committing wickedness. If you love your oppressor, you are committing wickedness, right? If you're a grown man and you're not taking care of your kids and your family, you are committing wickedness, right? We don't. Verse 48, and so return unto thee with all their heart and with all their soul. In the land of their enemy. In the what? In the land of their enemy. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Our people have to wake up. Right? Wake up and pay attention to the words of God. The most high God is speaking to you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. I see that. Read that again. I don't think they heard that. Read that. And so return unto thee with all their heart and with all their soul. Right. In the land of their enemy. In the what? In the land of their enemy. What is America? In the land of their enemy. So this is the land of our enemies. We the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans don't wake up. This is the land of your enemies, right? This is the land that you was brought to be a slave, right? This is the land where you was brought to be a captive. You wasn't brought here to have a good goddamn time, right? You wasn't brought here to be to, to come out on Glenwood and party and turn up. Right? You know. Which led them away captive. Which did what? Which led them away captive. And these people led our people away captive and our people want to walk hand in hand with them. Right? Separate from their damn enemy, brother. Right? That white girl ain't got nothing good for you. Right? Yeah, yeah. Hey, what's your ethnicity? Y'all got a minute for the words of God? Y'all believe in the Bible? We do. All right, well, come talk to us real quick. We got a message for you. You see that? You that, see y'all falling up? See, that's a damn shame. That's the state of our people. Our women get drunk, right? They run their mouth. They out here tripping and falling on the damn ground, looking like a hot damn mess. That's a damn shame, right? Like I said, this new generation is destroyed, right? I never seen my grandmother act like that. You know, our grandmothers didn't act like that, right? When you look at this new generation, this is what our people got, right? Our people have to wake up, right? And y'all need to come over here and hear the words of God, right? Come over here and sober up through the, through the words of God, right? Read them. And pray unto thee. And do what? And pray unto thee. Hey, sister, you need to come over here and hear the words of God. Hey. Y'all come over here. Y'all got two minutes for God. All right, y'all got to repent and put some clothes on. Right? That don't make no damn sense, man. I mean, you know, if you're going to come out here like that, you might as well not even come. You might as well not even put clothes on. Right? If you're going to come out here half naked, you might as well not even put, put clothes on. I mean, God damn, that don't make sense. <laughs> I mean, that, that don't make no damn sense. If she bend over, you're going to see everything. That's disgusting, right? Our people are the laughing stock of the earth. But we're supposed to be the greatest nation, right? All these other nations laughing at our people because our people do not know who the hell they are. And since you gotta separate from your oppressor, all right? Separate from your enemy, sister. The Lord chose you to be a princess upon the face of the earth. 
we God's chosen people, right? The Lord didn't create us to be hand in hand with our oppressions, right? You know, and pray unto thee towards their land, which thou gavest unto their fathers, the city which thou hast chosen, which thou hast what? The city which thou hast chosen. Hey, drop dead, he saw. All right, you see that? Oh, boy, you see that? Oh, I'll pay you. Hey, get the most out here. Oh, I'll pay you for the most out. <laughs> you see that? The most high God got these heathens of derision, right? Making a mockery of these other nations. Read them. The city which thou hast chosen and the house which I have built for thy name. All right, so let me get what you got in Genesis 25. Let me get, um... Let me get Genesis 27 and 34, right? Because our people have to wake up, right? The Most High God sent us out here on these streets to wake our people up, to teach our people, to show you why these things are happening on the earth. You want to know why that situation happened in Alabama? We're going to come out here and teach our people why, right? That's why the Lord sent us out here. We are here to teach you why these things are happening on the earth. Because our people do not read. Our people do not pay attention to what's going on around the world. Right, so read that. We're going to show you from the beginning why the so-called white man hates you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Right? Why he put you in slavery. Why he call you a nigga and speaking a wetback. Right? And since you got a minute for the words of God, sister, in the blue, well, if you're a Christian, you would know you got to separate from the so-called white man and separate from your enemy. Right? So when they snatch your ass up and rape you and hang you, don't be crying for help. Madness. Y'all still ain't got time for God? You see that? They still ain't got time for God. You see that? Y'all need to repent, alright? You see that? People like that and the Lord might destroy them tonight. You might get one chance to hear the words of God. And you might forsake the Lord and the Lord could put your ass to death the same night. Right? Our people don't truly know God. Right? Our people is finished out here. Read that. The book of Genesis chapter 25 verse 21. And Isaac entreated the Lord. So we finna go all the way to the beginning. We gonna show you the origins of the so-called white man. Right? We gonna show you why the so-called white man hates our people. Right? We gonna show you why the Most High God is putting the spirit of these other nations to raise up war against each other, right? And you shaking your head, brother. Come on, brother. Hey, but look at, come on, brother. You gonna walk? You gonna walk down the street and shake your head, brother? You see that? Our people, our people finished out here, man. You gonna you gonna shake your head, but you can't talk to us, brother. Come talk to us. Don't do that. Yeah, you can't, you can't walk down the street and do that, brother. See that? Hold on, hold on, stay right there. So we, you got an issue with, with the message we bringing out? Okay, so why is that? No, I'm just, I'm just asking you a question. So you have, you have an issue with the message that we bringing out. What about, what about, hold on. Okay, what about the message we bringing out do you have an issue with? Okay. The same, the same story you wear is Hold on, wait a minute. Hold on, wait a minute. Yeah, yeah. Before we even get into that, we're talking about the actual message. So you said the message that we send is the same thing as who? Say that again. Do you, do you, even, do you even understand what we bringing out? Well, it really don't seem like you understand. So we gonna inform you. We are here teaching that the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and native. Hold on, hold on. Let me finish. Hold on, hold on. Let me finish, brother, brother, brother. Let me finish. We are here teaching that the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans of Negro and Indigenous descent are descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and that we are God's chosen people. What you said no for? How is that irrelevant? Tell me how that's irrelevant. How? So you, hold on, you're you an Indian. 
know that. Brother, what do you... Hold on, hold on. What? Brother, 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 calm down, calm down. So you say your ethnicity, you say you're an Indian. American Indian. So what, hold on, somebody, we got it. So listen, you say that you're an American Indian. You see that our people, our people destroy, our people smitten with madness, our people effeminate, our people bugged out, right? And that's, why, and that's the curses that the Lord put on our people. Our people are smitten with madness, man. This don't make no damn sense. You can't make this stuff up. I mean, bring that up. Yeah, he don't know what's going on. Bring that up. And Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife because she was barren. And the Lord was entreated of him. Right, so now is the time for our people to listen. Right? You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans need to listen to the words of God. Why are you too focused on all this folly and madness that's going out out here on these streets? Pay attention to the words that's coming out of this Bible, right? So we're going to show you why the so-called white man hates our people, right? We're going to show you why Peyton Gidger went into that supermarket in Buffalo and killed our people. We're going to show you why Dylan Roof went into that church in South Carolina and killed our people, right? Right, so let's read on. And Rebecca, his wife, conceived, and the children struggled together within her. All right, so we finna get into this this uh, this uh account. So you got Isaac and you got his wife, Rebecca, right? And it said Rebecca conceived. And y'all beautiful sisters got a minute for the words of God. Y'all believe in the Bible? Not right now. What type of sister do that mean? So you believe in God, but not right now. But you out here half naked with your ass out. Not doing, not keeping no commandments. Running your mouth. Lying mouth with, with your stinking ass that you didn't even watch before you came out here. Stop running your damn mouth, put some clothes on, and get in order. Madness, man. You see that? Read on. And the children struggled together within her. And she said, if it be so, why am I thus? And she went to inquire of the Lord. And the Lord... Read, read that again from the top. Right? We're going to bring this out from the top so our people can understand what's going on. And the children struggled together within her. Read verse 21 from the top. Verse 21. And Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife because she was barren. And the Lord was entreated of him. And Rebecca, his wife, conceived. All right, what's going on with y'all brothers? All right, so you know what we're bringing out? Do you know what we're teaching? All right, for sure. So we out here teaching the Bible, right? So you believe in the Bible? All right, so did you know that God has a chosen people in the Bible? Okay. Well, the two tribes of Israel, that's right. Give his brother a hand. All praise to the most high, right? So now let me ask you this next question. Who are the children of Israel today? Good question. You think it's us? Okay, well, that's good. Why do you think that? Okay. Right, that's right. Get his brother a hand. Right, so see, you all already know what's going on. That's good. So the thing is, you already know that we the Israelites, right? So now the next step would be is how do we get the kingdom of heaven? Because you know, according to the Bible, only the Israelites are promised rulership in the kingdom of heaven, right? So how do we get to that next step? Because it's one thing to know, but it's another thing to actually do what's written in the Bible, right? So let me get what you got. Uh, yeah, you can bring that out. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse 12. And now Israel. You know you're an Israelite now, right? So the Lord said, now Israel, read. What doth the Lord thy God require of thee? Now that you know you are Israelite, it's a certain thing that the Lord requires of you. Read on. But to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways. You have to fear the Lord and walk in all his ways, read. 
and to love him and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul to keep the commandments of the Lord. To do what? To keep the commandments of the Lord. For the Lord requires the Israelites, his chosen people, to keep his commandments, right? Because like you said in Deuteronomy, the Lord put curses on our people for doing what? For breaking, right, for breaking the commandments. So if we got cursed for breaking the commandments, in order to get out of these curses, we have to start doing what? Start following, that's right, get these brothers in here, all praise to the most high. And somebody get these brothers' cars real quick before they leave out, right? Right? So, so like we said, now we gotta start keeping the commandments. Do y'all know any commandments? Okay. Right, that's good, right? Right? Okay. Yep. Okay. That's the, that's the Ten Commandments, right? All right, so we're going to show you a couple more before you leave out. All right, we ain't going to hold you up. But let me get Leviticus 11 and verse 7. Bring that up. The book of Leviticus chapter 11 and verse 7. And the swine. And the what? And the swine. What animal is the swine? The pig. Do y'all eat pig? Y'all don't? So y'all don't eat no bacon, no pepperoni, pork chops, chillers. Uh, okay, that's good. I'll, I'll get these brothers in. You see that? See, you know too much. You need to be over here where we at. You see that? See, you know it. You got the information, so now you need to be over here with us trying to wake people up that don't know. You see that? So you already know that. So let me get uh, Leviticus 19 and 28. Leviticus 19 and 28. The book of Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 28. Ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh. So do you know what that's going into? Right, we're finna get into that. Do y'all do y'all get tattoos? Do you have any tattoos? You ain't got no tattoos? All place to the most high. You see that? So like I said, y'all got too much information. Let me get uh numbers 15 and 37. Numbers 15 and 37. Alright. Alright, so bring that up. The book of Numbers, chapter 15. Come on over here then. Yeah, you see, yeah, don't pay attention to that. That's just Satan trying to take away the word. Bring that up. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and bid them that they make them fringes. That they do what? That they make them fringes. That they do what? That they make them fringes. So this is another commandment. The Lord said the children of Israel, we have to have fringes. So fringes are the things that you see at the bottom of everybody's shirt. So you see that? You look around at all these brothers, all these brothers have on fringes, right? So we don't. In the borders of their garments throughout their generation, and that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. When well, you, you look at all these brothers' shirts, you see the fringes and you also see the ribbon of blue, right? Like all these brothers got. But let's see why the Lord told us to do that. Read that. And it shall be unto you for a fringe, that ye may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord, and do them. Do what? And do them. The Lord said we have to wear these fringes to remember to keep all the rest of the commandments and do them. So now you got our information, you can hit up that number on that card, and this brother right here, he can get you some fringes, right? He made t-shirts, you like all the shirts that we got on, this brother made t-shirts, he can get y'all some fringes, right? So let me get um let me get uh Matthew chapter 22 and let me get verse uh 14. Right? Let me get Matthew 22 and verse 14. You got a preset king? All right, come. On. All right, brother. The book of Matthew chapter 22 and verse 14. For many are called, but few are chosen. Let me get verse 9. Verse 9. Go ye therefore into the highway. Into the what? Into the highway. Where we at? In the highways. Right now we out here on the highways and byways. We. And as many as ye shall find, bid to the marriage. Do what? Bid to the marriage. So that's another commandment. Christ told our people, when we come into a certain amount of knowledge, see you know you ain't, you supposed to be keeping the commandments. You know you ain't supposed to be eating pork, shrimp, crab, lobster. You know you're supposed to be getting tattoos. So you know enough information where you could be out here with us and you could be teaching people that don't know. So the Lord said, now that we know this information, we have to come out here and wake up our people and bid them to the marriage. 
Because you know we living in the last days, right? You know that? So you see what's going right, you see what's going on around the world with Russia and China, right? You got you see what happened in Alabama? Why you think that happened? Why why you think these things going on? Why you think you see race wars rising up in America? Right? You gotta ask yourself these questions. The Lord is trying to show you that we are living in the last days. And we don't got a lot of time living. So we in these last days we gotta repent and come back to the commandments and then we have to teach people that don't know. Cause when you look at our people, our people destroyed out here. Our people bugged out, they be popping pills, they bugged out. We seen a brother, he was walking down the street talking to himself, right? He didn't know what was going on. Our sisters out here half naked, prostituting their bodies, right? Our women out here are only fans, right? You see that? So somebody got to come out here and wake up our people. Because if we, if we don't do it, who going to do it? You think the so-called white man, you think he going to come out here and teach our people the Bible? He don't give a damn about our people, right? He the one that's out here killing our people. Right? He didn't want us out here putting the knee on our neck. Right? You see what happened with George Floyd, right? You see what happened in Buffalo when that white boy came into that supermarket, right? You see what happened with Dylan Roof when he went into that church and killed our people, right? So somebody got to come out here and wake our people up. Because if we don't do it, then ain't nobody going to get woken up. You see that? So like I said, we ain't going to hold you up all night. But, all right? You feel me? All right, so check out that information. All right, y'all brothers be safe out here, all right? All praise to the most high. Give your brothers a hand. All praise to the most high. Right? So like I said, we out here to wake up the lost sheep of Israel. Let me see what time it is. All right? All right, so it's about that time, so we gonna close it up. So let me get uh, Matthew, uh, Ephraim, let me get Matthew 4 and 17. Yeah, we finna, uh, we finna close it up. It's about that time. Right? So, hey, only the most I know, man. And hey, we could have been out here for those two brothers. This whole night, we could have been out here for four hours. And we could have we could have been out here for just those two brothers to wake up. Ain't no telling. And hey, we plant the seed, the most high God gonna get an increase. Right? And we might see those brothers come out here on the streets with us one day. They're a woman. Right? And the Lord said, in these last days, we gotta pray for more laborers. Right? So read what you got, Matthew 4 and 17. The book of Matthew chapter 4 and verse 17. From that time, Yahweh Shai began to preach and to say, Repent! Do what? Repent! Do what? Repent! For the kingdom, for the what? For the kingdom, for the what? For the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Is that what? Is at hand. Is that what? Is at hand. Right, so let me tell you, week in and week out, the kingdom of heaven is at hand for you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, right? If you didn't know, we living in the last days, and if you want to escape the death, destruction, the famine, and the pestilence that's coming to the earth, you got to come back to the Lord, you got to repent, and you got to keep his laws, statutes, and commandments, right? But with that, you want to give all praises, honor, and glory to your hallelujah. By Shimmy Hawa Shah and Shalom. Put it up, Shalom! Put it up, Shalom! Put it up, Shalom! Put it up, Shalom!